Sergeant, these are the replacement aircraft and their crews coming in. Ask the Colonel if he wants to meet them out here. Just a minute, sir. It's Major Stovall from the tower, sir. He wants to know where you want to meet the new guys. Harvey, officers in the briefing hut in 30 minutes. Enlist the men in the mess hall. Roger. How many are we getting, sir? Nine UB 17s and 90 Greenhorn kids. These gunners. Hi, fellas. Holy mackerel. Okay, ladies, let's go. Driver! Driver, give us a lift. You have someone pick up our baggage. Hey, Lieutenant, where'd they come from? Uh, replacements like the rest of us. Headed for wing headquarters. There's a flight of P-51s. Tower to P-51s. Maybe they're Krauts and captured Mustang. Tower to P-51s. Get those kites out of here. We have traffic coming in. They're coming back, sir. Tower to P-51s. Pull up. Get out of our Tower traffic pattern. Yes. Sir, it's Colonel Gallagher. Harvey, who's flying those Mustangs? Colonel, I don't know who they are. Major, I know. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm looking for Colonel Gallagher. May I speak with him, please? Colonel is a whack here, says she knows who they are. Joe, this is Margot Demarest. Margot Demarest? What are you... Hold on. Air defense on that phone. Uh, cancel that. Give me air defense. Margot? Margo, if you know those two hot shots, you better get on that tower radio and tell them this. One more pass at my field, and I'm going to have my anti-aircraft shoot them down. 12 o'clock high. A QM production. Starring Paul Burke. Also starring Chris Robinson and Frank Overton. With guest stars Don Gordon. Marlon Mason. Tonight's episode, The Fighter Pilot. Sergeant Demarest outside. She says she's a friend of yours. Yeah. An army brat. Father is General Demarest, who at the moment happens to be my father's aide. All right, send her in. Yes. Sergeant Demarest reports as ordered. Surprised? Well, Margot, I can see you've been growing up. <laughs> yep. Dad sent you a big hello. My dad. And so does yours. Good. Now, what are you doing here? Oh, General Brett requested me for wing headquarters. 
Oh, and waiting around Prestwick was such an awful bore. And someone told me these bombers are coming here, so I hitched a ride. Resourceful. I see. I wonder what your father would say if I broke you down to private before you even reported for duty. Oh, Joe, I thought you'd be glad to see me. I am, but I know you. How much did you have to do with those fighter jockeys buzzing my airfield? Oh, oh. oh Joe, they're wonderful boys. Answer my question, Sergeant. What's happened to you? The question is, what might have happened out there with those bombers landing and your wonderful boys showing off for you? I assume that's what they were doing. You said you knew them, right? They were, uh, <clears throat> three fellows I met at Presswick. They were ferrying some P-51s to the 511th. <laughs> Sergeant Kamansky, call Major Davidson next door at the 511th. Tell him I want the pilots at Buzz My Field to report here to me in one hour. Well, what are you going to do to them? They didn't mean any harm. Margo, I have to meet some new replacements, and I assume you have to report to Wing Headquarters. If so, I'll see to it you get a ride. Very lovely, DJ. Really, I mean, look at the color, you know. It's just an off gray. Very nice. And when did it range, DJ? Attention! Attention! Ah! Don't see, Brace for the rest. All right, knock it off, you guys. You got any messages for me, man? Yep, I've got a message for all three of you. Now hear this. We're attached to the 918th Bomb Group for administration. This field and uh, the one you guys worked over constitute one base under command of Colonel Joseph A. Gallagher. The A, you might like to know, stands for uh, angry. Oh, uh, well, maybe we ought to write him a little note, send him some flowers. All right. It's very good, DJ, very good. Better watch out for Ramrod. He's bad news when his back's up. He wants you in his office. I've got a driver outside. Oh, uh, come on, Major. What can he do to us? We're transient. Yeah, We're listen, just passing Major, through. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I, I got a good idea. You need fighter pilots, right? Now, why don't you put in a request for a transfer and get us assigned to your outfit? And in that way, uh, if this Gallagher wants some blood, why, yeah. Uh, we belong to you. You bleed us. What do you say? How about that, Bert the Great? We're not rookies at this, Major. We've been together since the first day. Now, between the three of us, we got 31 kills confirmed. 31. Seems they finished a tour of the Pacific, requested reassignment to combat. They've been sitting around the replacement depot waiting for orders. They volunteered to ferry those airplanes down to me just to let off some steam. Joe, every one of them's an ace. I need that kind of spirit in my outfit. Sergeant, send those officers in here. Sir? Clinton, sir. Roush, sir. Dijon. Well, I expected to see three beardless sophomores. Sir, we all shaved before we left Prestwick, sir. Which two of you buzzed my airfield? Roush, sir. sir. Dijon, sir. Did you bring your orders? They're in our B-4 bags, sir. They're at Prestwick. We can send for them, but they're casual orders. We haven't been assigned yet, sir. Major Davidson tells me that you three did very well together out there in the Pacific. I want to make one thing clear. We're facing a different kind of an enemy over here. We're fighting a different kind of a war. Major Davidson has requested that you men be assigned to his fighter outfit, the 511th. Now, pending the outcome of that request, I'm going to put you on TDY to the 918th. In other words, gentlemen, until permanent orders come through, you belong to me. You mean we got to learn about bombers? No, Lieutenant, you have to learn about discipline. And if you don't, you won't survive. That'll be all. Except we're all confined to the base until further notice. Yes, sir.
a drink? Oh, no. What's the matter? You in trouble? Oh, well, some character in command out there named uh, Joe Gallagher. Oh, yes. You know him? Since I was four years old. No kidding. Uh, listen. Let's go be interested. Hey, you said on the phone that you were confined to base. Oh, yes. Well, uh, I'm learning discipline. <laughs> but you're AWOL. Baby, you don't know how AWOL I am. Um, this is a copy of um, orders from headquarters, uh, Fifth Air Force, right? Yes. You see, uh, we're not even supposed to be here. We were reassigned in the Pacific. I don't know, there's some training command or something. Anyway, they split us up, and we couldn't take that. You understand? <laughs> but how did you get here? Well, we, uh, we went AWOL, we faked it, we lied, and uh, we bummed a ride to England. But, Deech, they'll find it out. They're bound to catch up. But by that time, we'll have combat records here. They'll let us stay, don't you see? Well, what's this for? Uh, well, I want you to keep this. I want you to type up an exact copy and then insert our names in it. Uh, I've written them on the back. Then make it read as if they ordered us to England. But did now, you... look, honey, all we need is, is the handheld copies. I told the ramrod they were in our B4 bags and the bags are arriving tomorrow. Look, honey, nobody will know you've done it. I'll protect you, I swear. I don't want to split the three of us up. Honey, more than that, I... I don't want to lose you now that I've found you. To stay here with you. What I'm trying to say is, Margo, I love you. That's what I'm no, talking about. You see, that is an well, indication. No, no, no. Check the perspective. Look at this one. I'm an artist. Don't yeah. talk to me you... like. Well, did she buy it? Well, come on. What happened? Boy, what I don't go through for you guys. Okay, I'll tell come you. on. She bought it. She's going to fake the papers. You but I had you? to tell her that I love her. Oh, DJ, that's sacrifice. All right, hold it, hold it. Let's have a little respect. What's up? Congratulations. You boys have a real plum assignment for tomorrow. This order just came in. Report to the 918th briefing hut tomorrow morning at 0800. You're going to be lecturing new bomber pilots on enemy fighter tactics. Us luxury bomber pilots. All right. Okay. Why oh, you just killed your pilot? <laughs> Forget it. I'm on autopilot. Oh, forget your autopilot. Two planes. Goes your number one engine. You saw that, right? The bomber flies on and on. Fly and on and on. And on. Oh, you want on and on, there goes your fuel tank, you're going down in flames. No, I'm they not. That cheating. tank was empty. That tank was empty. Quiet down, quiet down. Now, listen. Here you go. Okay. Men, now if you are attacked from the rear, remember they're going to go for your fuel tanks. You can evade this by simply slipping or yawing a little. Attention! That is. You about finished, Captain? Uh, yes, sir. I think I've said it all. All right. You're all to report to your bombers. The Colonel has assigned instructors to fly with you. We're sending you upstairs to practice formations. Dismiss him, Captain. Attention! Hut! Dismiss. Now, did you hear what that nice major said? He said simulated fighter attack. Think we should? Who can simulate better than us? Gallagher's gonna blow. I've handled better men than Gallagher with my eyes closed. Now, let's go get a couple of fighters and bounce some B-17s. Now, hold it, Deej. Not without permission. We've got troubles enough. 
Colonel Gallagher. Colonel Major Davidson, I've got a situation here. I assigned some pilots to simulate attacks on your replacement bombers. Well, these three new guys, they want the detail. And every one of my guys wants to see what they can do. I see. All right, Major, let's find out. Take off. I'll meet you at 5,000 feet. I'll follow and watch. Never mind 5,000 feet. You find those B-17s. We'll be there. Hey, look. your altitude, over. Germans don't broadcast their altitude, Lieutenant. Come and find me. Hi, pal. That was a good split S. That's the first thing every beginner tries over here. Unfortunately, every German fighter pilot knows it's coming. Friends are good I am and a fighter. Sir, the colonel is just excellent, sir. He's swell. No, you're wrong. I wouldn't stand a chance against an experienced German fighter pilot. You beat the Jean. No, my airplane did. I use a special ship. I sometimes use it on mission control. It weighs 400 pounds less than the one he used, and it generates an extra 100 horsepower. I knew it was something. He's got 16 kills. Let me explain something to you men. Japanese fighter planes explode when they're hit, but German fighters don't. Also, you can't be a loner over here. You're going to be meeting German fighter pilots with a lot more experience than you have and superior aircraft. And when you do, you'd better be with the team. Because if you're on your own, you won't stand a chance. All right, you're dismissed. Good night, Joe. Bert. Good night. Gentlemen. 
Uh, say, Major, they told me that Toby Mug means the mission's on tomorrow. Right. We'd like to go. Well, I haven't got orders on you yet. I can't take you. Anyhow, you still belong to Colonel Gallagher. Good evening, Colonel, sir. Would the Colonel like to join us, sir? Good evening. If you men would like to learn the value of teamwork, I'll be at briefing at 0630. And I'll give you permission to fly aboard some of my bombers. Good night, gentlemen. Time to turn in, you guys. Bert? Okay, Joe. Why not, fellas? Got an easy one tomorrow. Fighter cover all the way. Well, I hope it's easy. First time. Well, good night, gang. Good night. Good night. Good night. Flying the bombers. Well, not me, pal. I'm a pilot. I don't fly in those garbage trucks. I leave that to the goats who can't do anything better. You know, they're gonna find out we've gone AWOL. Doc. No, and they're probably gonna find out we got a bad name in the States, too. Especially you, Deej. They don't even know we were in the States, Chair. They think we flew here straight from the Pacific. But they know in the States we were in the States, right? So what? Look, a good name here may save our tails when they do find out. Tell him. Well, isn't that the point? Now, look, let's cooperate and build up a good combat record. All right, all right, all right, you character. I'll cooperate, but I'm not going up in any bomber. And someday I'm going to put that Gallagher down, but good. Out of formation. You're looking good. We're about to turn on the IP now. Let's keep it nice and tight. Less than three minutes to go now. Ram run out. Boy, they told me about this flak. I didn't believe it. The flak always like this? I want to sound corny, Captain, but I've seen it a lot heavier. Didn't see much of it in the Pacific. This is the tough part of your job, I guess. Open Bombay doors. Can't you take evasive action, get out of this flank? I guess that's the difference between fighters and bombers, Roush. We just have to sit up here and take it. Kind of boy, Roush. Kind of boy. Top turret to pilot. We'll make her to the hit, sir. Roush is in that ship. Pilot the top turret. How bad is Blue Baker? They're not bad, sir. All our fans are turning. Whoa, stay in formation! Stay in formation! Stay with the group! Ram round to Blue Baker. Get back up here before they pick you off. Stay with them, Roush! Get back in formation! Get back German fighter shot him down. Who put him up there? Gallagher. No, no, Gallagher gave him permission, that's all. Look, I was up there. You weren't. I saw and I heard. That airplane turned out of formation under somebody's control. 
Now, four other ships were hit, but they, they, they stuck and they got back safe. All right, now, what are you trying to tell me, Jerry? Now, just keep it simple. Something went wrong. They all died. Roche and ten other guys, Deesh. Now, you listen to me. Roush was our buddy, and he was my wingman. Are you blaming him? I'm telling you something, Deesh. Don't blame Gallagher. Are you blaming Roush? Now, Deesh, you got one assault rap chasing you already, but you got that guy by surprise. Now, you let go of me, or I'm gonna knock you on your can. I'm sorry. The truth is, he shouldn't have been set up in that... No! No! Now, look, the last words that kid Jimmy Storm said were, Roush, get back into formation. Now, that's the truth, Deej. And you better take a good hard look at it, or you're gonna go out the same way Roush did. I still don't believe he was flying that airplane. And even if he was... Uh, Deej, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Uh... All right, what is it, Black? Well, it's a phone call for Deej, a girl named Margot. She says she wants to see you. Yeah, he can't. He's confined to the base. No, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. She knows Gallagher. I'm irresistible and I'm bright. I got an idea. Um, up at wing, you know when a group is going out, don't you? Yeah. Uh, could you tell me the next time the 918th is going out on a mission? I mean, uh, say like the day ahead. Well, the whole uh, what, sir? The whole what, honey? Well, you'll find it out back at base anyway. The whole fourth wing is going to go out tomorrow. Huh? What about Joe Gallagher? I think he's leading. Why? Why? Oh, uh, nothing. I just want to wish him luck, that's all. Deej, I called you here, remember? Oh, yeah, well, look, um, make it fast, will you? I'm, uh, I'm AWOL again. I gotta get back to the base. Uh, Tracer came in on you from the States today. Now, you said you bummed a ride here, straight from the Pacific. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a mistake. Read it. AWOL, Corey Field, that's back home, and only three weeks ago. I told you we went AWOL. We came through the States, but we never stopped. But you didn't tell me that before. And you didn't say that you were in trouble there with the police. Honey, this doesn't mean a thing. Whereabouts of... First Lieutenant Dominic D. John. And it says, wanted by... All right. I'm wanted in the States on a civil rap. But I didn't forge government orders. You did. Now, you better keep quiet about this, and you better stay out of my way, or you're going to be in worse trouble than I am. Now, you believe me. But, D. I... I lied and cheated for you because I thought... I don't want to hear about it. All right. Look, Margo, we used you. I'm, I'm sorry. But there's only one thing we do right. We fly. And that's all that counts, baby. with you and then with your brother and some clarinet player and that's me but this 
rat. Oh, Joe, what am I going to do? Does Dad have to know? Yes, of course he does. And from you. Also, you should tell General Britt. Margo, it's going to be a lot easier to tell them than it was to tell me. I thought they were such heroes. Going to save the world and... I mean, volunteering for combat and... fighting for a chance to fight. Well, whatever the reason, I do believe that part of it is true. After all, they could have gone into hiding or to some rear area. John didn't say why he was wanted in the States, did he? No, but it's not hard to find out. Well, you'd better go and report to General Britt. Oh, Joe, I can't. Now, Margot. Now is the time for you to start behaving like a soldier. Yes, sir. Margot. You better fix your makeup. And after we toured the Pacific, we went on leave to the States. And I don't know, too much war, too much to drink. We were pretty sore about being separated. So we tore up a couple of nightclubs. Dijon got mad at a taxi driver. He beat him up, he took his cab and wrecked it. So we came AWOL here. I guess it was a way of balancing the scales. It seems to me that your record in the Pacific would have helped you in court, if it's true about the 31 victories. Oh, it's true. Dijon only claimed 16, but he must have got 25. He saved our lives out there at least a dozen times, Russia's and mine. Sure. But you see, sir, the, well, the main reason for coming here was sticking together. Besides, the war's still on. Why quit? catch up all day long. We'll be leaving the assembly area just as soon as fighter cover joins us. So get that group in a position. Mission control out. Strike. Keep 
Keep your formations tight now. Mission Control, the meatball leader. Enemy fighters at 4 o'clock low and 9 o'clock low to you. Jump the last group off the target. I'm releasing your fighters to your control. Go get them. Meatball leader, Raj. Leader to little brothers. Blue flight, stay with me. Take those babies at 9 o'clock. The rest of you go for the gaggle at 4. Tally ho! Bombs away. <laughs> go, sir. The lastest with the bestest. Right on the money. Mission control to bombers. Mission control to bombers. Luftwaffe is very busy back there with our little brothers. Hold your formations. You're home free. I'm leaving you now and heading in. Mission control out. Hey, Ramrod. Here you are, all by yourself. Take that airplane out to a normal position. Now, after all that talk about teamwork, here I find you out on your own. You know, a man's no good up there alone, pal. <laughs> if I was a Fritz, you'd be finished. How's your ammunition, pal? Hey, John, you're only hurting yourself. Hurting? I'm through, and I know it. But I won't quit until I hear you holler, Uncle. I told you to get that airplane out to a normal position. Negative. Well, let's go on with our little game. I'm gonna chase you home scared. I want to hear you say you'll never fly a fighter again. Hey, John, get off the air. The Germans monitor us. All right. But you stay right there. You turn when I say turn. You climb and dive when I say. And don't try to outrun me. You make one move I don't like and I'll open fire. Where could they be? Anywhere with the speed they've got. The guy's out of his mind. Sycamore leader to Ramrod. Don't take any chances with that character. He's insane. Get off the air. Gallagher! Hey, John. We're near the coast. Stay right there. The Germans won't jump us if we stick together. Bring that airplane home. Gallagher? That's where Roush used to fly. Remember him? Well, you don't belong on my wing. at 6 o'clock to you. They're after you. You want to see something, Gallagher? Just stay there and watch.
one makes four. Five o'clock, five o'clock, break. Skipper, we see you. Here come the cavalry. Stay on us, Davison. This is my show. Stay on! destroy just count them that yeah, was quite a show okay now stick with me let Davidson handle the fight look look there are your bombers up there go on home with them where you belong and leave fighter jockeys alone I will say thanks for knocking that one Fritz off my tailie might have had me, but... Hey, John! Hey, John! wanted to die? No. He wanted to live forever. He was the kind of a man that was born playing king of the mountain. Yeah. He was never happy unless he was stirring something up. Clinton, why did you go along with him? Well, I guess it was... It was like being in the corner with the champ, sir. I, oh, I knew we did a lot of things that weren't right, but... Margo, did you report to General Griff? Yes, sir. And I told my father. Do you blame the John? No, sir. Only myself. Good. Well, Captain, you'll be uh, staying here with the 511th, pending the action of the JAG. Meanwhile, you're grounded until they decide. Well, I hope this will be some kind of a new beginning for both of you. That'll be all. Thanks, Joe. 